Now, when it comes to Ryan Garcia on this channel, that name is no stranger to us. I covered a couple of his situations a couple of months ago where it all started, where he went and he said the things that people are doing in Bohemian Grove to the cupcakes. He also said he's going to be exposing every single Hollywood person who is into cupcakes, and he has evidence of them as well. He also got a Guinness World Record for the most tweets tweeted in a day. Even the trolls on Twitter who are there 24-7, they were stunned as well. They could not believe their eyes that a person can actually tweet 5,000 times a day. And after all these accusations he made towards the Hollywood, towards people, towards things happening around the world, he said that if I reveal these secrets, these tapes that I have... People are going to come after me. Just know if something happened to me, I did not do it to myself. It is all a cover up. The Matrix is after me. Months went by. No evidence came to light. Ryan Garcia, before his fight, he told, he told everyone that he's just going to focus on the fight. I'm not going to speak on any other topic other than boxing, sports, and my fight. And he just let people down. Half of the people believed what he was saying and they were thanking him for coming forward with this. And the other half thought that after his fight with Tank, he started seeing stars in the air. He went coco and started seeing flying rhinos all over the place. And just last week, I made a 13-minute video about Ryan Garcia crossing the line on how this whole thing was just a stunt to sell his fight. Trolled the entire world with the fight. <laughs> yeah, so was this was this all an act? What mm -hmm. part of it was real? Tell us about it. Uh, I mean, my, my cameraman, Chance, Ajay's there. Um, hey, we have it pre-recorded months ago. What did I say it was going to happen? I said, I'm about to make sure everybody thinks I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Why? Wow, this is going to be the call the great escape. Like, I have it all documented. I was already playing it, uh, you know, weeks and weeks and months behind. Uh, just, I don't know what made me come up with the idea, honestly. I just, uh, one day, just decided just to go all in. Now, like I said in the last video, if you watched it last week, things were fine. Like, okay, you fooled people, you tricked people just to be able to sell tickets. Fine, but when he went on his beef with Logan Paul about this whole Prime situation, and when he made an AI-generated text message between him and Logan, but when he tried to expose Logan, but I brought the proof about that specific message about the, the kids in Gaza. That just proved that he never cared in the first place. It was him who created this message when I found the error in his spelling. The error that was found on multiple of his tweets that he posted. That is the part where a lot of people lost respect for him, including me. And just yesterday, the news came out that Ryan Garcia has been arrested for vandalism. Ryan Garcia was arrested on Saturday for felony vandalism after a Beverly Hill hotel accused them of causing an estimate of $15,000 in damage. The police department watch commander told ESPN. Now, it is not a secret and Ryan told everyone on the internet as well that he has a drinking problem. He loves drinking. He drinks all the time. Now, no one has released why he had an episode in that hotel and caused like $15,000 in damage. My best guess is it had something to do with, with his mother. If you didn't know his mother, Ryan brought it to Twitter and he told everyone that his mother has been diagnosed with cancer and a lot of people did not believe him. As he has lied his way through all of the things he has said, all for a purpose of what? Selling tickets. And when you have an alcohol problem and you know, you've been hit with a you know, of news of your mother's health. And if you're someone like Ryan Garcia, there's most probably, most likely you're going to have an episode either in public or private. This is my best guess. It still hasn't been verified on exactly why. But after the incident, the hotel decided to press charges once police arrived. So this is specific of the nature of the damage of Ryan Garcia's behavior wasn't immediately clear. After he was booked at the Beverly Hills Police Department jail, police said Garcia complained of a medical issue and was transferred to a medical center for evaluation and treatment. Ryan Garcia's attorney Darren Chavez also told ESPN that Garcia might also be charged with public intoxication, meaning drugs and alcohol. And Ryan Garcia also faces a suspension from the New York Athletic Commission after he tested positive for a banned substance, Austrian, in the lead up to his majority decision victory over Devin Haney in April. So he's dealing with a lot of bad news in his life and when alcohol and drugs come into your life once you're dealing with these things 
Let's just say it does not lift you up and put a smile on your face and make you happy about everything. It does not make you forget things. You are going to have an episode. And as you can see, Ryan had it as well. Now, some people like Matt Wallace have been taking it to Twitter on saying the Matrix is after him. I found this extremely funny. Let me show you. Ryan Garcia is in serious danger. He exposed the bohemian growth. He exposed the pedos in Hollywood. He revealed what is happening in Gaza. He called out specific uh, pedos by name. And now this is exactly where they want him. He's in prison where he has no way to defend himself just like Jeffrey Epstein. I told you this was coming. They're about to Epstein him in prison and claim it was he unalived himself. Now, this is the type of person we have a name for them on social media. Asshole clickbaiters. Where they will do everything in their power to spice things up. Add extra juice. The drama comes out at a small silent fart. They're going to hold a hairspray. And they're going to fart extremely hard on it. So flames will come out. Spice the shit out of it. Make it create an, another story out of their ass just to get some views on it. And guess what? They always do. This picture had like 10 million views. This guy also went on and posted that Ryan Garcia claimed in March 6th that something bad is going to happen to me on June of 8th, 2024. Because as you know, Ryan Garcia planned this whole thing, or maybe the Matrix called them and be like, prepare yourself for June 8th, no matter where you are. You can't hide. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will spank you. This is what the Matrix uh, allegedly told uh, Ryan Garcia. And then community notes on Twitter came in as fast as he, they could. And said Ryan Garcia never made this tweet. This image is digitally created. Now if you know a thing or two about this lie detector on Twitter, they don't give a shit about anything but the truth. So if someone comes out and starts starting drama out of their ass, this is where the lie police is going to come over here and just expose them of what what a big of a clickbaiter they are. Because even though Ryan said everything was a lie on his podcast, these people are still going to use his the moment that he's down instead of people helping him. They're going to say they're going to create stories and they're going to lie just to get some money out of it it is pretty obvious in this situation that he's been abusing his alcohol use and his drug use and he's going through a lot in his life and he has no control over his addictions this haiwan also went on and posted a video saying that ryan garcia's final message before death they're gonna try to put me in jail and they're gonna kill me that is Ryan Garcia, his ominous final message if they do in fact take his life. Here he is being arrested, taken out of the hotel in Beverly Hills that cost around $1,000 per night as he was quote arrested at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in Beverly Hills for apparently damaging property at the hotel including allegedly in the room he was staying at, this all according to T. MZ because yeah that's totally normal for you to get arrested and dragged out of the hotel in handcuffs rather than just simply being asked to pay Ryan Garcia has a net worth of 50 million dollars he just made tens of millions of dollars from his most recent fight he's one of the greatest boxers to ever live indisputably and yet rather than just simply asking him to pay for it they have him taken out in handcuffs here's the video one more time or maybe if you think about it maybe he was so rude to the staff or the hotel manager that they do not they did not like his face and they wanted to press charges against him and they they don't want the money they wanted to take him to court instead because when you deal with someone under the influence they are going to say things stuff or is going to come out of their mouth where which you know they don't mean it but it is going to hurt you deeply so there's a very high chance that the hotel managers they took it seriously and they took it by heart and they did not want money from him just there take the money go they wanted to press charge him and take him to court with this and as he's been dealing with this bad news he's been going on the internet under the influence for sure and he's been this is just a cry for help just attention on the internet that he wants to get he goes on and he just tweets a bunch of shit i don't give a fuck this just sounds like someone who just needs help who's going through a mental health episode he even goes up and posts some russian shit i don't know what this is and just goes on and just like just hit that translate button and shut up i love russians don't hate me 
That means I love you in Russian. I want to come out and say, if you're worried about Ryan Garcia, they're after him. Bad things are going to be hap happening to him. I can guarantee you the only person who's after Ryan Garcia is himself this guy in the video goes on and he says that oh they can once they take him to prison they're going to unalive him he has no control over his food so they're going to poison him and they're gonna blame it on he took his own life brother he he got released yesterday professional boxer ryan garcia is free tonight after being arrested late this afternoon for felony vandalism at the waldorf astoria in beverly hills now property damage above 400 dollars is going to be a felony and he still has a case he's he his attorney also said that he might be facing intoxication charges as well public intoxications and there's a very high chance he will be paying a hefty fine on this as well it's very unlikely for him to go to prison for this but in this situation i think it's best for ryan to go to a rehab center he needs his friends and family just to push him to go to a rehab center Al alcohol addiction is a very dangerous thing god knows with the amount of money he has what things he is under the influence of as well so i think the best situation is his friends grab his hand bro you need some help let's go to a rehab center uh, rehab center Get your shit together and come out of it as a new man. Because all of this, they need to take his phone away as well with his Yachty Blue Blue tweets he's been making as well. It's an extremely sad situation. It's one of those fuzzy tube situation as well where he gets lost with that money, amount of money and fame that he's getting. So he wants attention on the internet. So he starts abusing alcohol and substances as well. And this is the time where they actually need to get some help or things can end very badly for them because this was just one of the episodes we don't know what's going to happen in the next one or maybe the next person he does these things to he will not take it lightly and he can put his life in danger even though i have no more respect for this man but i hope he gets the help he needs this is the time where you can actually tell who's a real friend and who's going to take advantage of the situation but yeah i just thought i'll share this new information with you as this news just came out last night let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.